Running a Tempo report on a customer's billable accounts gets you one step closer to getting money in your company's account. When you're working with customers, you usually need to send them an invoice with the number of billable hours that you've worked for them. In Tempo Timesheets, this invoice can be created from a report that you run on the time you've logged to a customer's billable accounts. Here at Lunar Industries, my team of consultants are doing some geological lunar research work for a customer called Greenergy. They log their billable consulting time for them to a billable account, and they log their pre-sales work time for the project using a non-billable account. As a project manager, I now need to generate a couple of reports. One for all the work done for Greenergy, and one for only the billable work done. I'll use the second report as the base for the invoice that our finance team will send to Greenergy. Let me show you how I do this. First, I click Reports in the sidebar, and then click Log Time, since I want to see the hours that have been logged. In the report wizard here, I can set up exactly the report information that I want, which is for the work we have done on all the accounts for our customer, Greenergy. So to do this, I'll filter by Customers, and then check Greenergy. Now I can group that filtered data. I want to group the data per account, since there are two accounts for this customer. I also want to group the logged hours per project, so I can see which issues were worked on in which project and then I click Create. And now I see my report for time logged to issues for Greenergy's accounts. There's not much to show yet because the current month is displayed, but the hours that I want to see were done last month. So I just need to change the reporting period using the date picker up here. I'll click Last, and then Month. This creates a dynamic period report where the data shown is always for the last month relative to the current date that you're running the report and I click Apply. And now I can see all the hours logged for the last month to both of Greenergy's accounts, H3 Energy Billable and H3 Solutions, which is our non-billable account. The view is a little cluttered right now, so from this menu up on the right, I can change from the day's view to weeks. And now I can more easily see a summary of the hours logged per project and issue per week. I can also see the total number of hours logged in this column for each of Greenergy's accounts. I want to keep this customer report for future reference, so I click Save up here, and change the report title to Greenergy Customer Accounts Monthly. A note reminds me that this is a dynamic report for the last month. Dynamic reports make it easy to create templates, since the data is always relative to the current date. I can simply run this report every month without having to set it up each time and that makes my life easier. I'll click Save Report, and I'm all done. So I'll go back to the Reports page, and I see it here in the Save Report section, where I can access it at any time. I forgot to share this report, so I'll click its tile to open it up again, and click Share up here at the right. I'll enter Saul's name, who's in Lunar Industries Finance Department. He has the View Work Log permission for all teams across the company, which is known as Full Access, so he'll be able to see the data in this report. Basically, the person with whom you're sharing a report needs to have the same or higher level permissions as you have, so that they can see the same data in the report as you do. Just selecting his name is enough to share it, so I can close this dialog. And I'm done with that report. Now I want to see only the hours logged to Greenergy's billable account to create an invoice. This is actually pretty easy to do using this existing report as a base that I can modify. I'll keep the customer as the filter, and then I'll add another filter with category types, and select billable. So now I'm looking at Greenergy's billable account on its own. In the group by field, I'll remove account, but I'll keep project and issue. I'll add user and work log, so that Greenergy knows who's doing the work for them, down to the details of the individual time records, also known as work logs. And there are a lot of work logs. I want to save these changes as a separate report, so I'll open the Save menu and choose Save As. It's important to save this report to have final numbers to send for invoicing. 
and to make sure that no more time is logged or changed for this account, the timesheet reporting period should be closed. I'll change the report to a descriptive name, Greenergy Billable Accounts Monthly, and click Save Report. Again, I'll share this report with Saul as before, and he also needs to have this report in a spreadsheet format. So, up at the right, I click Export and select XLS Report Data, which saves the report in the Excel format. All the data from my report is in this file, and I will send it to my finance department now. Note that we could also use Tempo's APIs to develop integrations to pull this account and log time information for the finance team to use. They take the data from the spreadsheet and bring it into their financial software and do their accounting magic. Then they send the invoice with supporting billable time data to our customer, Greenergy. Soon we will get paid and that will make us happy. So that's how you use the time log to a customer's billable accounts in Tempo Timesheets to run reports as a base for invoicing. You can follow along with the videos in this series to see other ways to use Tempo accounts for your business needs.